patriarchy um, and that for the women it's important to treat uh, as close as possible to the standard regimen and for the child it's important to not to deliver too early and we do believe that a child suffers more from prematurity than from cancer than from chemotherapy during pregnancy. Frederic, thank you. We examined children that were born to women who received chemotherapy and or radiotherapy during pregnancy. We are following up more than 120 children and the results actually show that these children develop normal as in as other children in the general population uh, develop. So there are no differences. So these children do not have more or other congenital malformations and their cognitive and cardiac and general health is actually as in the general population. So this is one of the pivotal uh, results that we have found. Up to now, this finding, has it been because women received chemotherapy and didn't know they were pregnant? No, it was that women were, when they needed cancer and chemotherapy during pregnancy, either clinician said, we will postpone your treatment and deliver you uh, and give the treatment afterwards. And that resulted also in preterm delivery because they wanted the child to be born as soon as possible then, or it resulted in termination of pregnancy. So the, the fact that we did find that uh, you can give chemotherapy during pregnancy adds to the treatment of cancer. So, so how did you broach the subject with the women of giving them chemotherapy? They must have been scared of doing that. Yes, but we, it started with the literature search that we say there is some preliminary evidence, but it has not been um, well studied. But uh, uh, So that's how we did explain it. Also, these women really wanted their child. So they said, OK, we are happy to take a small risk. We, we will accept that our child may not be as normal as uh, usual, they took the risk, but luckily they didn't take, uh, um, they didn't take risk because the, these children actually develop normally. And how did you construct this study? It's not exactly your conventional clinical trial, is it? No. Well, in fact, people have treated cancer patients who were pregnant before, but the only thing is that they did not follow the children. It was not a study subject. So what we did now is we do it systematically in an international setting. We follow up the mothers, we follow up the children, and that's how it, it, it goes. And I know you've got a task force, and that's one of the big subjects here in Liverpool. Um, what can this for task force do? Well, cancer pregnancy is an uncommon disease. We estimate that it's um, one in thousand, one in two thousand pregnancies. So in order to have good data for all these different cancer types, you need a large group. And that's why we decided to set up a task force where we try to um, collaborate. We have more than, we have 39 um, task force members from uh, 18 European countries. So it's working well and we have a registry of more than 800 cases. No. If you take chemotherapy, that's one thing. What about the targeted therapies? Some of them, for instance, target angiogenesis. Could <coughs> be problems there, couldn't there? I, I completely agree. We would not give uh, angiogenesis inhibitors. Also, Herceptin, which is used for breast cancer, it's contraindicated during pregnancy. Um, other drugs, uh, we have to be very careful. Also, hormone uh, receptor um, agonists are also can be dangerous during pregnancy. So, indeed, there is a still... Uh, a lot of work to do and, and with the involvement of new drugs that come out, it, it will be challenging to test all these in pregnancies. And can you say that across the board any cancer can be treated or, or are some more suitable than others? Uh, I think they can all be treated, but the most difficult one is cervical cancer because there the pregnant organ itself is involved. But even there it is possible to treat these women and we will, and, um, we will further explore this within a task force. We have now 132 cervical cancer cases during pregnancies that we are comparing to controls and the preliminary data show that actually the outcome is the same. So even for the most difficult situation, it is possible to treat these cancers during pregnancy. So could you sum up some of the guidelines emerging from your research? It, uh, summarizing, we do feel that most uh, cancer treatment modalities are possible during pregnancies, during pregnancy. Um, and that for the women it's important to treat uh, as close as possible to the standard regimen and for the child it's important to not to deliver too early and we do believe that a child suffers more from prematurity than from cancer than from chemotherapy during pregnancy. Frederic, thank you very much for joining us. With pleasure.